Hello and welcome, this is Meltscunner, and we're back with some more MechWarrior 3. Since the last video, I've decided to change the loadout I had initially planned to use, and this is because of my concerns with heat generation on this map from the description we were given. And I don't think ERPPCs will do very well. They probably did pretty well in the previous mission because we were in a snowy biome, so heat generation was aided in that regard. I don't want to go to ammunition-fed weapons, though, because I'm by myself. I don't think I'm going to get any support, so there's no way to resupply. So if I run out of ammo, there goes a lot of my firepower. So I've decided to go with six medium pulse lasers, which I'll be firing simultaneously. That should be pretty good firepower. And if we're inside in a cave or whatever structure we're going to be inside, I don't think that the medium pulse lasers are going to be really a liability because I don't think long-range firepower is going to be all that necessary, perhaps. And if we're going to be fighting little elementals, uh, medium pulse laser is going to be a lot easier to hit with. And I get to fit in a lot more double heat sinks. So that's why I went with this loadout. Hopefully it works out. I guess we'll find out in here in a second. All right. Let's switch fire modes. All right. Oh, we're getting fired at already. Yeah, see, that guy went down quick. Got a mech power up. Oh, there he is. Okay, we are having some heat generation problems. But, ooh, recoil. Well, actually, it's not recoil for me, it's impact. All right, so that's not a light mech. They said light mechs and elementals. That was an assault class mech. So I guess our mission description is incorrect, unless they consider a... Okay, so we're still having problems with he... Oh, hello. As long as my heat sinks can take it. I mean, those are probably elementals firing at me. Well, let's get them while they can see me. Need more of those little punks. Okay, so that guy ran away. We have a target here. Just probably destroy the core taps. There's a bad guy down here, but I don't think I can shoot him. Guess I'll just go for the targets I can see. Without having to move. Okay, that's that dog. Then we have... One in Able, which I'm guessing we can't see. And then we have to destroy all forces. So, so far, we're not doing too bad. Okay. You can see him now. Let's hit him. Okay, I'm guessing he's dead. Okay, so I just need to get to Alpha. There's some elementals. So... Oop. Something's hitting me. Let's see if we can figure out what it was hitting me. Oh, there's another mech. It's in behind that building. Oh, I see an elemental. Um. I think an elemental's hopping up and down over there. Let's go over this way. I know there's an elemental over here somewhere. There's also that no another Sunderer. Keeping the building in between us, though. 
Oh, we might be able to cheese it. Building in between us. Might be able to chop off his arm. And there goes his arm. Uh, he had at least a PPC, so that helps. Well, some of that got into the building. Go after that leg. Might be able to take it out. There he goes. Okay, and now it's just elementals, and then the one thing at Able, which I have to figure out where that is. Might be down below. Uh, the elementals are over this way. I'm not going to walk on that, because it looks like it may... Well, I may have to. I'm hung up on something. Oh, there it is. Probably behind me. Okay, well, just kill the rest of the forces. It looks like we were just kind of in a big room here. Come on. You can do it. Don't fall down. I'm stuck on something. Um, maybe we need to go into third person. I don't want to fall off. I'm definitely stuck on something. See if it'll let me go back. Yeah. Something was hanging me up there. Alright, I'm going to stay in third person just so we don't fall off the edge on accident. Because that seems like something that would be easy to do on this map. Give us a little bit of a different perspective anyway. I have no idea where these elementals are. Oh, I think I see one. Uh, I just saw one hop up. It looks like the bridge is blo uh, like something you can destroy. But I have to be careful not to accidentally destroy it. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to these guys any other way. Alright, let's go for it. Alright. And I think the other one's glitched out. <laughs> In somewhere I'm not sure I can get to. Yeah, down there. Okay, well, we'll see if we can get to it. I'm gonna switch back into first person because we might be have uh, better success aiming that way. This time I got over the bridge all right. I'm not sure I can see him. We'll keep circling around. Maybe I can see him. He might be stuck in that corner. Hopefully he's not phased into the ground. <laughs> okay, well this is be the where we would see him. There he is. Yay! Reach elevator to surface. Okay, so... Echo. Now, what is that? A turret of some kind. Okay, well, I'm on Echo, so let's go to where that is. I think I saw the door. It was over back there. 
Okay, hopefully the bridge doesn't freak out on me this time. Made it across. I don't really want to fall into whatever that goop is. Okay, there's the elevator. I'm guessing we're not done. Mission successful. Oh, now we are. Okay. Well, that was a fairly easy mission. Let's see what happens now. For sure. Just a few light sunders. Good call. Oh, bloody lava lake. I'm looking forward to the snow and ice again after that sauna. We need to hold for a few more minutes. I've got some men heading topside for a quick look, so we won't be coming up blind. All right. Okay, finally some good news. The shuttle is up there. Yeah, we got a ride. Have you informed the Eclipse? The Eclipse lifted as soon as I told Captain Taylor about the shuttle. He'll meet us in low orbit if we manage to pull this off. Pull what off, exactly? He's here. Corbett, up in the caldera. We picked up an open broadcast set on a repeating transmission. This is Galaxy Commander Brendan Corbett of the Clan Smoke Jaguar. I await you in the caldera. It shall be our circle of equals. Though you hardly rate the honor, I am left with no further time to deal with free birth vermin. My clan arrives, and you will not be left alive to stain the soil with your presence. Stand and fight, or be hunted like the Surats you are. But you will not survive this day. We'll come out of the elevator here, at this northwest corner just behind the shuttle pad. That might buy us a few seconds to organize, but don't hang back too long. If that shuttle is damaged, we're stuck on Tranquil. Given the usual clanner conceit, Corbett and his warriors will likely wait for us in the center of the caldera. No mistake, Commando, this is a tough one. Corbett is commanding an elite team, fitted with the best equipment the Jaguars possess. He's dangling the shuttle in front of us for bait. He knows we need it, and we'll have to go through him to get it. Everyone ready? All right, well, let's uh, go to the mech lab. Okay, so the loadout I'm going to want to do uh, is going to be... Well, did, I didn't really pay attention to what salvage we got, uh, so let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, so we did get another Sunder if we wanted to use it. Uh, might be a good idea. What would we want to get rid of? Maybe one of the... I'd get rid of the uh, Orion. And we'll grab the Sunder. Okay, so... I am going to try... And fit myself back to something with ERPPCs, but I have a feeling I don't have enough ERPPCs because that's one of the things about this game that is problematic with this allocation. I've kind of not been bothering with it because it's so uh, a pain in the butt. So because I swapped out all the ER ERPPCs I have, I may not actually have them anymore. So we will take a look at that. I may be able to strip a... Uh, mad cat to get them, but we'll see what we can do with what I have. So, yeah, from what I'm looking at, all the clan ERPPCs that I have are gone now, uh, as well as a lot of my other weapons. And that's just the way that the allocation thing works. I think I'm going to talk about this a little bit more when I get into my wrap up of this game, but. Uh, the salvage allocation is one of the big headaches of this game, and it got to a point where I just started ignoring it because it was such a hassle. So, <laughs> unfortunately, it looks like I may have uh, problems uh, doing certain loadouts. So, we'll see what we can do uh, with what equipment I have. I may do an ER large laser instead of a PPC. Uh, so, we'll see. Let's uh, take a look at that. So we have ER uh, Large Laser Clan. I only have two PPCs, which I would prefer to have more if I was going to do the kind of loadout we had before. I have some Streak SRM6s. I really don't want to rely on anything that is uh, energy, uh, I'm sorry, ammunition based because from what I'm going to guess, we don't have mobile fuel bases anymore and running out of ammo is going to be a real problem uh, for me anyway, I think it would be. So... What I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to try the four large lasers. 
instead of the PPCs. And we'll see how that does for us. So let's see if we can figure out where we'd want to put them. Maybe in the arms would be a good place. Now, I don't know what kind of cycle rate we would expect with four large lasers. And I may want to have some backup firepower. But I'm going to plan as if I'm not going to get that backup firepower. So it's only one crit slot. Now, there is more tonnage, but it'd be fairly easy, actually, to, to get what tonnage I need because, well, a lot of it is in my engine weight. So, I'm perfectly fine bringing this down a bit. Okay, let's, let's see about doing that. So let's go to the arms. So we've got right arm, we've got two medium pulse. So I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, one of the large lasers. Go over to the left arm, we'll get rid of uh, this pulse laser. And we'll add in the large laser. Okay. So far, so good. The head, having a large laser in there. Kind of funny to think of about it, but hey, it's something we can do. Okay, so we only have one left. I could probably be all right with just three. So what's our current weapons loadout looking like? We've got two medium pulse lasers and three ER lasers. Well, where's the other pulse laser located? Probably have some... Here's one. That will work out, so... Put in the last of the large lasers. There we go. And then we have one pulse laser here. So what kind of backup firepower I'd want? I am not sure. I mean, I don't have that many slots for backup firepower. So... I might just settle for the medium pulse laser as the only backup weapon. It's only one, uh, but hey, it's something I can fall back on if I absolutely need to. Let's uh, let's ramp this thing up so we can get as much speed out of it as possible. So there we go. And let's take a look at what we have now. So we have four large lasers. Not going to be as effective as the PPCs would have been. I could probably remove some double heat sinks because I probably have more than I need at this point and we could get more medium pulse lasers in. So like, for example, we could come into the right arm and get some more medium pulse lasers. Uh, that makes sense to me. So... Oh, tonnage-wise, we don't have enough. So I'll go back to equipment and drop this down a bit. Okay, the right torso, weapons. So I want two medium pulse lasers. So that's three medium pulse lasers and four large lasers. I could probably get away with even more than that. So maybe two more in the center torso, and then we would be what at what? Five and four? Yeah, let's do that. So center torso, we'll put in... Uh, I probably need more tonnage, so again, we'll go over to equipment, lower that down, a couple ticks, and then that should be perfect. So, for the two medium pulse lasers and the center torso. Alright, so that gives us a loadout of, now I want the large lasers in group one. Okay. So, yeah, it's... Not as good as the PPCs probably would have been. But we've got a similar capability, and the thing probably will run cooler anyway with the loadout that I currently have. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'll save it as a new uh, thing. Why not? Okay. Well, that's going to be my loadout for the next mission. Uh, I'll have to take a look at whether I want to do anything with uh, that Sunder. 
and replace the Mad Cat that I uh, have for one of my Lance mates. But again, the issue is how much of a benefit is that going to be? And I'm going to have to look at it. So in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.